All right, let's take a look at how to search for an image that has a Creative Commons license, how to download that image from the web, how to open the image in GIMP, and then adjust the physical size as well as the um, file size of the image, and then save it. So here we are at a Creative Commons site, um, search.creativecommons.org. And notice along here, it has several different sources that you may search for images. I'm going to choose Flickr and search for an image with a book. Okay? So it'll come up with a, a, sort, a variety of images, and I want the, um, this first one here. So I'm going to uh, open that, just click on it, and then... I am going to check it out here. Let's see. I'd like to, let's see, right click and choose medium 640. That's the largest size of that image that is provided. I want a large size so that uh, if I choose to manipulate it, um, it won't distort it too much. So now that I have it in the large size on my screen, I'm going to right click and save that image. And You'll notice that uh, often images are given uh, rather bizarre names. I'll just call this book, okay? Brief name, meaningful. I don't need to say book image because notice it has the file extension for JPEG, so I know it's an image. So we'll save that. And now I'm going to go to our friends at uh, our GIMP program and open that image. I put it in a little folder with images from our class. There it is, book. And I'll go ahead and open that. And there it is. Now, what can we do with this? Well, we can use our toolbox and modify it in different ways. Uh, we can work with layers. But instead of doing all that, let's just very simply go ahead and adjust the, the physical size. I'm viewing it at 100%, so that's I know what it looks like. I want to scale the image. Not canvas size, but under image, choose scale image. Right now it's 640 by 480. Let's sort, let's put that into about 300 width and then click the link to adjust the height uh, concurrently, okay, and relatively. So now it's a 300 by 225 image, and those are pixels. I'll click scale. And so it makes it smaller, and that may be more suitable for my purposes at some point. So now I'm ready to save that image. I'm going to choose Save As, and we'll call it a different name so we can keep our original image. I'll call it Book 2. Click Save. And it's um, the first thing it asks you when you save is, what quality do you want this? 90 is the default. 90% this is. I'm going to bring it on down to about 40%, maybe even 50. Um, that's not going to uh, diminish the, the quality of the image that much. So I'll save that JPEG at 50% quality, click Save. And if we look at now on a, in our finder, where we have those two, here's the original book. Notice it was 164K. But look at the new version, which I just saved. It is 16K. That would go very well on the web because uh, it would quickly download. So again, in your, in your image, uh, in uh, GIMP, to reduce the physicals, I mean, sorry, the file size, just choose Save As. I'll call this Book 3 now to demonstrate that once more. And you're given an opportunity to determine the quality of the image. And that's how you adjust the, um, the actual file size. So try that out.